Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture on readings and alliteration. In the last class, we were discussing the one act play titled A Marriage Proposal written by Anton Chekhov. I mean, we have seen a humorous incident in the play. We know that there are only three characters in the play. They are Natalia, Lomo and Shubukov. Lomo and Shubukov both are neighbors and one day Lomo came to Shubukov home to seek an alliance with Natalia. But unfortunately, when Natalia and Lomo started to speak, it turned into a heated argument over the meadows in between these two houses. Both of them, both Natalia and Lomov claim that these meadows belong to them. Lomov narrated a story. Lomov said that it belongs to my great grandmother and she uh, rented that uh, meadows to Shubukov, servants, Shubukov family servants at that time. And so Lomo uh, family is the actual possessor of that meadow. Shubukov said that no, no, we are the real owners because at that time Lomo's great grandmother didn't pay for presents. So this was uh, the story narrated by Lomo and Shubukov. But nobody uh, agreed that it, it belongs to another person. Both of them keep on said that it belonged to our family and finally they accused or they started to insult these two families. And finally Lomo, uh, due to his palpitation, he went back. Initially, uh, he explained uh, about his health situation. After Lomo left the place, Shubukov, he told Natalia about the proposal put forward by Lomo. And after listening this, Natalia, she wanted Lomo back to her home. Natalia changed her opinion. She said that no, somehow I want him here because Natalia would like to marry Lomo. So that was the funny incident. Nadalio was in fight with Lomo, but when she came to know that he was here to seek an alliance with her, she changed her opinion and she wanted him back and she also agreed to Lomo. When he came back, he, he agreed that actually uh, that Nadalio's belong to Lomo family. She didn't argue anymore and she also changed the topic she uh, when Lomo came back she said that now let's talk about something else and she started to talk about hunting okay so from here let's discuss uh, in today's class so Natalia asked are you going uh, are you going to hunting soon so it is clear that uh, Lomo, he used to go for hunting. And Lomo, yeah, he said that though he has some palpitations at that time, he said that yes, respected Natalia Stepanova. See, now he is again addressing Natalia as respected. But a few minutes before, when the arguments went to he was not like that. He used, he, he insulted her as well as her family using some abusive words. And here he also talked about his dog Ugadi. He said that yes, I will go. I will go along with my pet dog or hundo Ugadi. And he also said that my dog has a limp. So, it's a limped uh, dog. Lomov's dog Ugabi. And Natalia, what a shame. How did that happen? See, they have changed the topic and now they are talking about hunting and the dog. And Lomov said that probably he is not limp. It is probably a dislocation. 
or he was bitten by another dog so limped animal means it's not good so he is saying that uh, it's uh, somebody is some other another dog might have bitten him so that is why he is limping now and anyway i i bought him for 125 rubles that was the cost of my hunt dog ugadi 125 rubles with great pride he said this and natalia said that oh that was too much that was too costly long of he was of the opinion that Ugadi is a good dog, it's a wonderful dog. So that price is cheap. See, again, the conversation is leading into an another argument. Now, one argument is over. It was over uh, the meadows. Now they are talking or uh, trying uh, trying to argue on another topic. See the funny situation. And she said that even we too have a dog. What is the name of Natalia's dog? Atakai. Ugadi is the name of Lom, uh, the, uh, Lomov's dog. Atakai is the name of Natalia's dog. And she said that Papa paid 85 for Atakai. That was not too costly. You paid 125 for Ugadi. But Otakai, it is much, that dog, it, our Otakai is much better than your Ugadi. And we have to pay only 85 uh, rubles for that. Uh, Natalia said, and of course, he is better. But our Otakai is still young and is not full grown yet. See, she started to compare the dogs. Atakai and Ugali. In her opinion, her own dog Atakai is better because it is young. And Lomov said that, uh, yeah, I agree with what you said, but you have you haven't noticed the short lower jaw of your dog Atakai. And a dog with a short lower jaw can snap. What is meant by snap? Brass. The lower jaw is short for Natalia's dog. He said that. Natalia uh, has no hesitant. So he, she denied that short, uh, short lower jaw? No, 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 no. It was not like that. Loma said that no, I'm sure your dog has short lower jaw. So that now. Earlier they fought for meadows, now they are fighting each other in the name of dogs. Especially the short lower jaw of Natalia's dog named Otagar. And Natalia, she became irritated and she asked, have you measured it? The dog said, yeah, I have measured it. He is good at running though. Yeah, your dog is good at running, meaning it is uh, young. He didn't deny all these qualities of the guy, but he is of the opinion that he is of lower jaw. And Natalia, she started to describe the good qualities of the guy. She said that it's a pure breed. It's a full-blooded son of uh, two other dogs' names is mentioned here, but uh, your dog is ugly and all skinny. Not only Natalia is praising Otakai, she is also trying to insult or trying to uh, highlight uh, the negatives of Ugadi, the dog of Lomo. <sighs> and Lomo, he couldn't take it and he said that, no, no, I can't agree with you, my dog is better. So, they are continuously arguing uh, for the same reason. Okay. And uh, Natalia, uh, she said that my dog is a uh, hundred times better than the your silly Ugadi. And Lomo said that uh, you either consider me as a blind or a fool. Are you considering me as a blind person or as a fool? 
and anyway i'm not going to agree with you bahut to dama adamant okay they are not ready to give up for anything at all and again see again the argument goes on here we can see that again lomov has started to deteriorate lomov said pardon me but i can't carry on this argument any longer i have palpitation of the heart he said that please please don't continue this argument and nadalia she said that yeah i have always noticed that hunters who do not uh, who do, uh, do the most talking know the least about hunting hmm. she said that the person who is talking too much about hunting actually they do not know hunting at all see so here uh, natalia is a ridiculing no more you always talk about hunting but you don't have a good dog for hunting and moreover you have this health condition so it is clear that you don't know anything about hunting lomo he begged her please please dear lady i beg of you my heart is bursting nadalia said no i won't be still until you admit that otakai is better dog see the attitude of nadalia poor lomo his heart is aching he has palpitation and he is begging oh dear lady please stop this but nadalia look at her attitude he said the no she said no i won't stop until you agree that my dog patakai is better than your ugadi i won't stop my argument poor lomo he wanted to argue back but his health is not at all in a good condition so at that time Shubhakov, Natalia's father, he came back and he asked, "Who oh, has begun all over again?" He understood that again some argument is going on. Natalia immediately, "Papa, say frankly on your honor, which dog is better, Otakai or Ugadi?" Natalia she didn't answer Shubhakov's question, but she wanted to prove that her dog is better. And Lomo also, Stephen Stephanovich, I beg of you, just answer this: Has your dog shot a lower jaw or not? Yes or no? Lomo, he also wanted to uh, prove that Otakai has lower jaw. He is begging. And Shubhakov asked, and what if he has? Hey, if uh, Otakai has shot a low, what is the importance? There is no better dog in the whole country. Otakai or Ugadi, who whichever dog it is, no dog is perfect. Is it important which dog is better? If the dog has lower jaw or not, does does matter to you? But Lomo, he said that okay, you said that no dog is better, but you can't uh, include my Ugadi in it. Except my Ugadi, I will agree with that. Tell the truth now. and shubhakov finally he wanted to answer that and he said that don't get excited my dear philo permit me your ugadi certainly has his good points he is from a good breed has a good stride strong hunches and so forth but the dog if you really want to know it has two folds he is all and he has a short lower jaw and shubhakov he responded finally he answered lomov's question so initially he appears to be sensible he said that uh, mr lomo i agree gadi is a good dog it has a lot of positive qualities strong horns uh, and strong stride etc but he, it has two negatives to one is he is old that uh, that was already agreed by lomo and he has short lower jaw too Lamo, my Ugadi, who has short lower jaw? No, I can't agree with that. Pardon me, but I have half the palpitation of the heart. 
let us keep to the facts and he said that remember uh, the the ray is contacted uh, in the meadows more skin meadows and my ukadi was much better other than all the dogs including your atakai and she book up said that, oh yeah your dog won that race because uh, he didn't get a good start up that's why it happened and lomo said that uh, so the again the argument was between lomo and shubuko and the argument goes on and again lomo said that oh again i have the palpitation my leg my leg is lame i can't he couldn't walk and he couldn't talk and natalia finally after fed up of this palpitation she said hey what kind of hunter are you you ought to stay in the kitchen by the stove and brush me with a potato peeling and not go for hunting palpitation she ridiculed him hey you said you are a hunter but you have palpitation how can you hunt if you have this health problems so you better stay in the kitchen and do the jobs house chores with this palpitation rather than going for fox hunting the shubuko also supported natalia yeah what kind of hunter are you a man with your disease or to stay at home and not jog around in the saddle if you were a hunter he he also started to ridicule him shubuko and lomo he couldn't he couldn't accept he couldn't control his emotion he became very happy sorry he became very angry and he accused or he addressed shubuko as andrager swindler etc so they they started to use some beauty words to each other a baby puppy walking drug shop see how shubuko addressed lomo here baby you are a puppy you are a walking drug so you are a man with a disease and you will you, you have to always carry uh, a, a handful of medicines in your hand because of your palpitation and you are a walking drug store and you are saying that you are a hunter wow oh, how pathetic it is and some of address you because you all rat please stop it so they they are uh, they the heated arguments It, it went on, and and finally, the next page. I'm not reading everything. Uh, in the next page, um, again, Natalia asked, "Nice sort of a hunter you are. You can't even sit on a horse." And he said that, "See, Papa, he can't even sit on a horse with this palpitation." Papa, what is the matter with him? uh and she screams even as which he is dead so before that he here we can see that uh she long of is trying to answer or respond to the uh respond to shubuko and natalia but finally he he burst his heart has burst and he fell down even after he fell down natalia was ridiculing him what kind of a hunter you are and immediately she noticed something happened to him so he asked shubuko papa what's the matter with him and she screams oh ivan vasilevich he is dead she thought he is dead and lomo he saying that i mean i can breathe eh oh, he couldn't breathe properly and natalia said he is he is dead and he she shakes lomo in the chair lomo is sitting in the chair and she is shaking bam vasilvich what we have done he is dead no, please wake up please wake up natalia she she is cried and she called hey what happened what is the matter what happened uh, anyway uh, i don't know what happened and shubuko he became panicked what he said that okay call the doctor who oh, heaven okay get the water and he don't know what to do he became panicked and he said that where is a knife where is the gun i want to kill myself the the all dialogue 
and at that time Lamo he regained consciousness and saying this Shubhaka said no he's not dead he's coming to he's coming back and he gave him a glass of water Lamo drank the water okay and he drank it and he he is quite okay now and Shubhaka immediately declared hey both of them Mr. Lomo and dear daughter Natalia get married. Kill then go to the devil. She is willing. She is agreed. Only leave me in peace. Oh my God! I'm fed up of uh, interrupting in your argument. If you both are every uh, for this marriage, okay, you can get married soon and go to the devil and go anywhere you want. I don't want to uh, uh, interfere in your argument. And Lomo said, "What? Whom?" So he was lying down and he got up, hearing this word marriage. Whom should I marry? See, you ask for my daughter's hand and she is willing. So kiss each other and take her, and you go. And Natalia, she said that, "Yeah, he lives. He is alive. He is not dead. Yeah, Lomo, I am willing. I am willing. Please marry me." She is super excited. She because said, "Kiss each other." Lomo, hmm. And both Natalia and Lomo kissed. And pardon me, what is this for? Oh, I understood. Uh, my heart, I am happy. So even the excitement, happiness, over excitement, over happiness also uh, causes a uh, palpitation for him. And he said that, "Oh, I'm so happy, Natalia Stepanova." And Natalia said, "I'm also happy, and I am happy too." And she took off a lot of my shoulders. Oh my God, a lot is off to my shoulders, and my daughter is getting married. And immediately again, Natalia said that, "Hey, uh, anyway, we both agreed to marry each other. I accept you as my husband, but I have a request for you, my dear Lomo. See, what was the request made by Natalia? She said that, 'At least now, you will admit that Ugadi is worse than Othakai.' See, what she is asking. She wanted to prove that her side is." Correct. It was a character of certain people, irrespective of whether the man or women. Some person has uh, some features, some some uh, personality. Uh, they wanted to prove to the people, the others. They wanted to prove themselves as correct always. Lama, better. No, I will say that Ugadi is better. Now that you said no, Ugadi is worse. And Shubhaka, seeing. The argument. Now the domestic joys have begun. Champagne. He said that now they kiss each other, kiss each other, which means that they were agree uh, to marry. So it was for Shubhaka. They 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 became husband and wife. Okay, they agreed and let them marry. So he said that oh the domestic joy have uh, joys have begun. So usually in a very home there will be some uh, arguments between husband and wife. It's quite natural, but it won't last for long time. Sometimes it is for some silly reason. Sometimes it has some serious issues. Whatever it is, it will go on and finally it will over and they will uh, be normal. So, but in some families it will turn into a, a divorce and all. So it's an exceptional cases. But here she book up said that now uh, it's it, it, this argument can be considered as a domestic one. But now both of them uh, accepted as uh, husband and wife, and they are saying that Lomo is better, and is Lomo saying that Ugadi is better, and Natalia is saying that Ugadi is worse. With this, the argument just goes on, and Shubhaka he addressed the audience and he said that champagne. Let's let's celebrate. He is celebrating because Natalia is married off. She is settled. Whether she is happy or not. That is secondary. Anyway, she is, uh, she is mm, taken. By, she is taken. Uh, her hand is taken by a wealthy man. So he is very uh, happy and relaxed. So this is a funny thing.
so i hope you enjoy this play actually this play as i said in the last class this play is meant to be enacted uh, unfortunately we couldn't do that so please go through the play and try to answer the question given uh, at the end of this chapter okay so there are some questions given here and try to answer that and um, and it will be uh, it will be good for you and some of you might and uh, read only the guides which is available in the market i don't i won't say that you don't read that but sometimes uh, some answers in those books uh, might be wrong so uh, if you are following a guide, you can do that, but make sure that you have read the original uh, text or whether it is a play or a poem or a short story, whatever it is, you have studied the original text uh, prescribed for you. Okay, so with this, I'm winding at today's lecture. I hope you enjoy. So with this, we have uh, completed uh, the portions, the general English portions uh, of semester 4. Thank you.